Hello everyone, this is Jason Merkel with Horizon Hobby and we're here today with an overview of some of our trainer aircraft and our trainer flight simulator for the summer of 2020. So we don't have all of our trainer aircraft on display here. We've got a couple of our best sellers and our latest releases, which are very exciting to talk about. So if you want to see all of the trainers we have to offer, make sure you go to horizonhobby.com and check out the Hobby Zone brand. These two models are from that brand in particular. Every aircraft in the Hobby Zone brand is a trainer intended for a first time pilot. And then also our eFly brand, which includes our top of the line trainers like this Habu STS, our Apprentice STS, as well as a whole bunch of other aircraft that once you learn how to fly successfully, you can graduate into as well. So really exciting. Be sure to check that out. Uh, again, what we've got here today are a sampling of uh, our best sellers and our latest release in the trainer category and a trainer aircraft, of course, being intended for a first time or a beginner pilot. So if you're new to the hobby, thank you for joining us. Be sure to watch to the end of this video to hopefully get as much information as you can out of it. If you're already in the hobby, Hobby. Maybe you have some friends, some family, a neighbor that wants to get in the hobby. Make sure to watch this as well. You'll pick up some hints and tips along the way, and then you can share this video with them on top of that. So before we go any further, let's get into it. The biggest thing about all of these aircraft that I have on display here right now is that they all include our Horizon Hobby exclusive SAFE technology. SAFE stands for Sensor Assisted Flight Envelope whole lot of words. Basically what it means is it's the safest way to learn how to fly. It keeps the airplane um, level for you in the beginner flight mode. It makes turning easier, takeoffs and landings easier. It's really exciting technology. It's exclusive to Horizon Hobby Trainer aircraft. So in the safe technology. We have three flight modes. Basically, we have a switch on all of our transmitters, which you guys can see are on display with the models here. And that switch in one position is the beginner flight mode. In that flight mode, it has bank angle limits and pitch angle limits. So you can't get the airplane upside down. Even if you hold the stick into the corner, which a lot of people do their first time flying, it won't allow the airplane to go upside down and crash. So it has those limits to keep you from rolling over or pitching up or pitching down too much. And when you let go of the main control stick, the airplane goes right back to level automatically. It basically makes it almost like driving a car in the sky. It's very, very simple to fly that way. It makes takeoffs much easier. It makes landings much easier, which is a huge, huge benefit. And then after that, we have the intermediate flight mode, which of course is a progressive step getting a little bit closer to learning to fly the aircraft fully and under your own control. And in the intermediate mode, we still have those bank angle limits and those pitch angle limits, but we've made them a little bit uh, steeper. So you can bank more, you can pitch up more, you have more control. So you can make tighter turns, you can climb faster, you can descend faster. And then when you let go of the main control stick, it does not go back to level automatically. So if you make a turn and you let go of the stick, it's gonna stay in that turn until you fly it back to level. So that's teaching you some of the skills that you need to progress from beginner to to ultimately the experienced flight mode. So intermediate mode, a great place in between. It's basically like training wheels on a bicycle. Uh, when you're in beginner mode, those training wheels are all the way against the ground. When you're in intermediate mode, we've raised those training wheels up so you can tip over a little bit more without falling over. So it's a great next step. And then the third flight mode is the experienced flight mode. So in this flight mode, there are no limitations. You can fly the airplane upside down. You can do loops, you can do rolls, you can do all kinds of aerobatic maneuvers. If you're an experienced pilot, it's a lot of fun. If you're a new pilot, that's the place that you want to get to. So again, safe technology offers those progressive flight modes, beginner, intermediate, and experienced mode, which makes it a phenomenal way to learn how to fly and then to ultimately become a better pilot so you can move on to next aircraft down the road. So a lot of our trainer aircraft include safe technology. Um, not every single one that we offer does in the Hobby Zone brand in particular, so make sure you check that out. But what we are showing you guys here today is a, a pretty good selection of a little bit of everything. So we've got, for example, a scale model of a real aircraft here. We've got an aircraft that's optimized and designed to be extremely durable and uh, extremely uh, easy to learn how to fly. And then we also have a jet aircraft here, which is really exciting. This is something very, very new to the industry, very new to the hobby. We're very excited about it because now you can actually learn to fly on a jet if you so choose to do that. So before we go a lot further though, I'll go ahead and talk about each of these products individually. So what we have here is one of our all-time most popular trainer aircraft ever. Thousands upon thousands of people have learned to fly radio controlled aircraft successfully with this model here. This is the Hobby Zone Sport Cub S2. So new for this year is the version two, and we made a few small changes. Uh, overall, it's the same airplane it's always been. Uh, you guys can see it's a scale model of a full-size Cub aircraft. 
uh, which is really cool if you really like the looks of that. Uh, it also is ultra micro sized. And the benefit of the ultra micro size is you can fly it in smaller spaces and more places. So a perfect place to fly it would be one soccer field. Uh, maybe a baseball field if there's no real light poles or anything in the way. Some people would even be able to fly this in a large yard, front yard or backyard or a small park. So there's a lot of options for where you can fly a model this size. Again, what we call ultra micro size. Uh, one downside to a smaller size model, it's very, very lightweight. Now, one plus side of it being light is that if it does crash, it doesn't tend to break much because it is so lightweight. Uh, but because it's light, you can't fly it in a lot of wind. So that's the reason that bigger trainer models exist because they're a little bigger, they're a little bit heavier, they have a little bit more power and speed so they can penetrate the wind better. You know, that said, across the board, my recommendation is if you're a first time pilot, always avoid flying in the wind whenever you can. It's not really um, beneficial to have to fight the wind while you're learning to fly and trying to keep the airplane in, in line of sight um, to make successful takeoffs and landings. Uh, wind does complicate things. You know, that said, all of these models are equipped with our AS3X technology as well, which are 3 axis gyros to smooth things out in the wind. But that said, a smaller model like this, as convenient as it is for being able to fly it in many places, you also need to really fly it in calmer conditions. So uh, again, overall, the airframe is the same. What we did change in the version two is we added some of our new telemetry technology. So now while you're flying around with in the air, the battery that's inside of the airplane is sending its voltage back from the receiver that's in here to the transmitter. And there's a little LED light on here that indicates when your battery gets low. That's something we didn't know before. We had to either set a timer or guesstimate and hope that we didn't run out of juice while we were flying in the wrong place at the wrong time. And so it's really awesome having that telemetry technology. So that was one of the biggest changes for this version two that we now offer. And so what's really nice about this airplane is it comes out of the box completely assembled. There is no work, no building, nothing to do. Uh, what I really like about the box is that you can see here, it's pretty small, pretty handy. It's got a handle on it. That airplane, the controller, the battery charger, all fits right back inside of the box. It makes it really convenient for storage and transport. So that's kind of a nice touch with that aircraft. And again, it does include everything in the box if you buy the ready to fly version. So for most of our trainer aircraft, we have two completion levels. You'll see RTF, which stands for ready to fly. Sometimes you'll see bind and fly basic, which stands for, uh, or BNF basic. And then we also have PMP, which stands for plug and play. So don't worry too much about the bind and fly basic and the plug and play. If you're a new pilot, if you're a first time pilot, you're going to need a controller, a battery, a charger. So you're gonna mostly be interested in the ready to fly version. The ready to fly version includes all of those things. So in the case of the Sport Cub S here, we have a micro six channel transmitter with Spectrum 2.4 gigahertz technology. We've got a little USB charger, super convenient. And we got one of these little tiny LiPo batteries here. It's a rechargeable lithium polymer battery. Uh, the flight time on this battery is anywhere from five to 10 minutes. So it's not uncommon for the smaller models to fly a little bit less as long as the bigger models. And I know five to 10 minutes may not sound like a long time, but that's actually pretty typical. And even once you learn how to fly, that's about all the time that most people fly in an average flight. So, you know, there's a lot going on, a lot, of, a lot to think about, a lot of mental exercise going on. So you don't always want to fly for 20 or 30 minutes or an hour if you can. Um, what's nice is these batteries, we do sell them separately so you can have extras. They're about $5 each. So a lot of people will buy three or four batteries. Uh, that way they can have multiple charged at home. And then when they go to the flying field, wherever they're at, they can swap the batteries after, um, you know, five to 10 minutes of flight each. And again, very convenient USB charger. And the nice thing about that is you can charge it on a, you know, a phone charger at home. You can charge it in your USB in your car. Uh, very, very convenient, very, very simple. All of that again in the box in the ready to fly version for less than $150 US. So it's a really phenomenal deal. Uh, lots of positive reviews out there. A lot of people start with this airplane. Uh, one benefit being that they can fly it smaller spaces, uh, preferably over grass with a quick hand launch and then you can kind of land on the grass or you can take off and land on, on smooth surfaces as well. So you do have a lot of options. Also something cool that we don't have to show you today but you can check it out on the website is there's optional floats for it. So if you wanted to take off and land on water, you know, a very large pool or a small pond, this airplane has that option as well. So a really phenomenal aircraft, again, equipped with our safe technology, which makes it super easy to learn how to fly and also to progress as a pilot in the intermediate and experienced modes as well. So let's move into something a little bit different. Uh, and this is, has quickly become one of our very best selling aircraft. Uh, it might look a little strange to a lot of you guys that are out there. And one reason for that is because it has a pusher configuration. So real quick before I go much further, this is the 
Hobby Zone Aero Scout S 1.1 meter. The 1.1 meter stands for the wingspan. And you guys can see it's a pretty good sized model, quite a bit larger, quite a bit heavier than the Sport Cub S2 here. And again, what's unique about it is this pusher power configuration. So we don't have the propeller and the motor on the nose. So if you do happen to crash, this particular model has been crashed a little bit, uh, the motor and propeller don't take the brunt of that crash. So it's not uncommon when you're learning to fly to maybe not even crash, but just have a hard landing and a bounce or something like that. And if the motor and prop are out front, you will tend to break those or you know, potentially uh, bend the motor shaft or break the motor mount. So although this airplane looks a little unconventional, this pusher power configuration is absolutely phenomenal because it makes the airplane simpler, more durable when it comes to um, potentially having to uh, handle a crash and or a hard landing, which is really exciting. Uh, it does actually come out of the box mostly assembled. You have to do a little bit of assembly, but there's nothing special required for that. So you've got some thumb screws here and you've got uh, some sli the tail slides on and landing gear snaps in. I believe there's just one screw to put it together with a Phillips screwdriver and that's it. And you can have it in the air and you know, 30 minutes to an hour. So again, like the Sport Cub S, if you buy the ready to fly version, it includes everything that you need. So you get the airplane with all the electronics already installed. You have to do a little bit of minor assembly. It also includes a Spectrum DX E transmitter. We include a Spectrum USB smart charger and a Spectrum rechargeable lithium polymer smart battery as well. So what's really exciting about smart battery and charger technology is that it's super simple. You don't have to know all of the numbers and all of the math to set your charger correctly. You plug that charger into a suitable USB power source. It can be, you know, your phone charger, it can be inside your car, and then you plug the battery into it and it takes care of all the settings for you to charge the battery safely and reliably every time. So very exciting technology. Uh, we do have other optional chargers that can charge faster, they can be AC at home, they can be DC on the go. There's a lot of options out there, so be sure to check out our exclusive Spectrum tech, Smart Technology as well. Uh, and that's something that the AeroScout does include, again, in the ready to fly version. So again, it may not be the most traditional looking airplane, uh, but I really like this airplane personally because it flies fantastic. I've seen a lot of guys learn to fly it successfully on their own. Also then, of course, with the help of an instructor at an RC club flying field. But one, that, one nice thing about this particular size of aircraft is you can still fly it in somewhat smaller spaces than some of the larger, faster aircraft like the Habu. We'll get to that in a moment. So you could fly this potentially uh, in a space about the size of two or three soccer fields or football fields. Um, when you're an experienced pilot, you could potentially fly it in a space as small as one soccer field. When you're learning to fly, you need to have as much open space as possible. Make sure you avoid uh, obviously flying near people, near vehicles, near houses, and most importantly, avoid trees and poles because they are airplane magnets. So you wanna fly in the most unobstructed space possible. Anytime you can fly over grass, that's always preferred. This airplane has oversized tires on it, so it can take off and land in pretty thick grass. You can take off and land on smooth surfaces as well. It's a really great flying, phenomenal, very durable aircraft. Again, this one's been crashed a few times already and you know we got a little bit of little foam missing here and a little ding on the nose, uh, but we didn't break the propeller and we didn't bend the motor shaft and we just kept flying it. So phenomenal trainer become, has become one of our best sellers in part because of the value. All of this in the ready to fly version is about $200. Absolutely phenomenal value. Really, it's hard to beat. You guys have got to look up the reviews. People absolutely love it. Uh, even experienced pilots, myself included, I always have one of these with me because it's not just a trainer. You guys should check out on our YouTube channel, Horizon Hobby Products. We do have flight talk videos where we'll fly the airplane and talk about it. We have overview videos. What's really cool for this airplane is we have a whole series of videos that shows putting it together. We also show, after it crashes, um, how you can repair it. You can replace the parts. You can uh, fix some of the parts with tape and glue. There's a lot of really cool information in those videos, so be sure to check out that playlist on YouTube. Also, really quick before I go much further, all of these models are hobby-grade aircraft. The most important aspect of a hobby-grade versus, say, a toy aircraft is that you can buy replacement parts. In many of these aircraft, you can fix them, so like this, in this case, the very special uh, EPO foam that we use for these larger models, it's almost rubbery and, and flexible to a degree. And if it breaks, you can glue it back together with all kinds of glues, uh, super glue, epoxy, um, and then you can even use tape to help reinforce the repair. Or again, you can buy a complete replacement part, a wing, a tail, the landing gear, propeller if you need it. Um, there's a lot of really great uh, 
spare parts available, some option parts as well. So be sure to check that out. They are available on our website, horizonhobby.com. Also available at a lot of popular local hobby shops as well. So that way, if you do have uh, a, a bad incident, you can go and get parts immediately at your favorite local hobby store or online at your favorite online retailer. So a lot of great stuff about this. Again, Hobby Zone Aero Scout S 1.1 meter, by far one of my personal favorites. I will always have one of these with me. So moving into probably what a lot of you guys have been looking at throughout the video, it's something really, really exciting. This is truly innovative and something that we do differently at Horizon Hobby is we're always looking to push to do something more and to the next level to make the hobby more exciting and also to make it easier to enter it successfully. So uh, one thing that we've heard over the last few years as uh, electric powered jets have become very popular. So real quick, this, this is a jet effectively. It does have an electric motor, just like these other aircraft, it is electric powered. It, instead of a propeller, it basically has a fan inside. And uh, to a degree, it is jet propulsion, but it's basically a motor with a fan. So we call it an electric ducted fan because the ducting brings the air in and puts it out the back. So it looks and flies a lot like a jet. It is electric powered. It has a very unique, very cool sound to it. And traditionally in the past, electric powered jets, these EDF jets, were much harder to fly than a typical trainer aircraft. In fact, it was not possible until this model for someone to learn how to fly with a jet successfully. A lot of people tried and a lot of people did unfortunately fail. So we're really excited about this. This is our E-Flight brand. This is the Habu STS. The STS stands for Smart Trainer with Safe. So again, all these models have safe technology, but this model is a whole nother level. So again, in our E-Flight brand, we look at this model, the Habu, we also have our Apprentice STS, which is a more traditional looking aircraft club trainer, so to speak. Uh, both of those are our top of the line trainers, uh, in part because they come with our highest levels of technology, they have our highest levels of options available for them. Also, they're larger, faster, more capable than some of the smaller aircraft. Uh, so one plus, to that is it handles the wind a lot better. And that's the good thing about a larger and heavier aircraft. The one downside is you do need to fly this at a much larger area than you would fly some of these smaller models. So this particular model was really intended to be flown at an RC club flying field. So you may have one in your area, um, make sure to check on that. We also recommend learning to fly with the help of an instructor. Although it has safe technology and it's been optimized to fly very, very easily, this particular model is still a little bit faster than your typical propeller driven aircraft. So it does take a little bit more uh, time to learn to fly it. And an experienced pilot and instructor can help you learn to fly faster, more successfully, and to become a better pilot fast, uh, just quicker. It's, it's a much better experience if you can get an instructor. If you can't, we'll talk about what you can do to make sure that you succeed with our Real Flight Trainer Edition uh, flight simulator. That's a really cool tool. Uh, this model actually includes a copy of that in the box. We'll talk about that here in a moment. You guys can see we've got the ready to fly version shown here with the new Spectrum DXS smart transmitter. We also include a USB smart charger and a rechargeable smart battery as well. So those two, you plug them in, it charges, you don't have to worry about the settings. And then much like the Sport Cub S2, where we talked about that battery telemetry, this new smart transmitter works with this aircraft to deliver that while you fly. There's four LEDs on the front of the transmitter here. And as you use the battery, the LEDs start to turn off one by one, representing about 25% of the capacity of the battery. When you get down to the last one, the transmitter will beep. So that way you know it's time to land and you still have some time, a few minutes to fly around and potentially land. But again, the nice thing about that technology is you don't have to worry about setting a timer or not knowing if your battery's gonna run out unexpectedly at the wrong place at the wrong time. You see all of that information, you, you can see it on the LED lights. You're also gonna hear it with that audible indication as well. So really great uh, transmitter. Also what's nice about this model and the Aero Scout as well that includes the DX E transmitter is these transmitters are full range and full function, so they can work with a very wide um, range of our offerings and our E Fly brand in particular. So basically, any of our bind and fly aircraft, which come out of the box with they're assembled like a lot of the ready to fly aircraft with the electronics inside and a receiver that's compatible with these Spectrum transmitters. So you can use this transmitter with other aircraft down the road after you learn how to fly it. So that's a really nice feature if you buy the ready to fly package, like the Aero Scout. 
the Habu comes out of the box mostly assembled. You do have to do a little bit more assembly with this model um, because it does have to break down into a smaller box, uh, but it's very simple to do. No glue is required, no cutting, no taping, none of that. You just need a Phillips screwdriver, a couple of screws to put the wing on, a couple of screws to put the tail on, and then you follow the instruction manual for the setup information, and then you're basically ready to fly, probably about an hour for most people. So really easy to put together, also made out of that very durable EPO foam, almost rubbery foam that the Aero Scout's made out of. Uh, and real quick on, on the foam, I know a lot of people that are new to the hobby probably go, ooh, foam, and they think styrofoam cup. That's not the kind of foam that we use in these larger aircraft. It's a very special uh, rubbery foam. It's flexible. It's got some give to it, but it's also stiff. Uh, it looks good for a long time if you take care of it. It's just, it's a great foam. It works very, very well for these applications. Makes some really cool looking shapes. Uh, keeps the plane lightweight, but also durable at the same time. So really, really cool stuff. And uh, again, this is an, a trainer aircraft. It really should be flown at an RC club flying field with the help of an instructor if you can. But with any of these aircraft, the number one tool that you can use to learn to fly successfully in less time and with less crashing of your real airplane is to use our real flight RC flight simulator on a PC computer. So I've got my laptop here uh, set up for, right now I've got the Spectrum Interlink DX controller. This is a simulator controller, so it basically has a cord that plugs into the USB port. So you can buy it that way. Or you can also use this really cool Spectrum WS2000. It's a wireless simulator dongle. So it plugs into the USB port, and then you can use one of these Spectrum transmitters that, for example, comes with the Habu or the AeroScout wirelessly to fly the simulator that way as well. So really exciting feature uh, that we have the wired version or the wired option, or we have the wireless option available to you as well. But what's exciting about the simulator is that you can learn to fly any of these aircraft. All three of these aircraft are in our trainer edition of Real Flight. So trainer edition of Real Flight is a simplified version. It has six trainer aircraft, has five airplanes, these three included. It has one helicopter, so if you want to learn to fly helicopters, that's in there as well. It has one flying field, uh, but if you complete some of the virtual flight instructor lessons, you might get another one. Um, and there are, again, built-in virtual flight instructor lessons. These lessons are phenomenal. If you've never flown before, They'll take you through the basics of the controls on the controller, how to do a takeoff and a landing, how to do some of the flying around in the sky, shows you the different flight modes. We have virtual flight instructor lessons for both our eFlight Apprentice STS and also now including the Habu STS. And I mentioned before, when you buy the ready to fly version of the Habu STS at the moment, we have a bonus which includes this wireless dongle, which is a $39.99, it's about a $40 US value. It also includes a code so you can download Real Flight Trainer Edition. That's also a $39.99, about $40 value. So you get this $80 value of the wireless dongle and the simulator in the box when you buy the ready to fly version of the Habu. Makes it a tremendous value. Again, these items are available separately. You can uh, purchase the Real Flight Trainer Edition software at your favorite local hobby shop or online and download it through Steam. And then again, you can either buy the wireless dongle to use with one of your controllers or you can buy the Interlink DX simulator controller. We also have a full version of Real Flight. The full edition of Real Flight is absolutely fantastic. There are over 160 different aircraft, 40 different flying fields to fly from. You can download uh, other models online. You can edit models. You can edit flying fields. There's training lessons in that as well. There are games, and you can do online multiplayer with friends. A phenomenal, phenomenal uh, software that if you guys go and look at the reviews, I can't explain enough how much people have succeeded in learning to fly or even if you already know how to fly, becoming a better pilot because of the simulator, I can attest to I taught myself to fly helicopters on the simulator. The first time I went out to fly, I flew the helicopter upside down on the third flight and everyone said, how is that possible? And I said, one thing, the simulator. So Real Flight is the number one flight simulator in the world, RC flight simulator in the world for a number of reasons. The trainer edition is available for $39.99 for just the software. You can upgrade the trainer edition to the full edition of Real Flight, the latest version, for $69.99. So about $70 more, you can upgrade to the full version. If you want to buy the full version out of the gate, that is $99.99, it's about $100 for the software. Or you can buy it with the Interlink DX controller for $179.99, it's about $180 US. That is the best value, you save a couple bucks if you buy the simulator with the controller um, and you buy the full edition right from the get-go. So you guys can see here, I have the Habu on the screen, not sure you'll be able to see that in the video, but I can actually practice flying this 
just like I'd be flying the real one at Eli Field, which is the field that we have in the simulator here. And so I can fly it just like I'd fly the real model, which is absolutely fantastic when you're learning how to fly. It's an incredible tool. Spend a few hours on here before you go out and you make your first flight. You'll at least have the basics of the controls. You'll kind of have that basic eye-hand coordination down that you need to learn to fly. I really can't stress enough. If you're on your own, you absolutely need to have the Real Flight Simulator to be successful. Uh, in addition to our exclusive safe technology, which all these trainer aircraft have, it's very, very exciting. So be sure to check out our website, again, horizonhobby.com, to see our eFlight brand trainers, the Habu STS, Apprentice STS, and also our many Hobby Zone brand trainers. It's a lot of really great information there. Again, be sure to check out our Horizon Hobby Products YouTube channel. Subscribe there. We also have another YouTube channel, Horizon Hobby, which is just uh, for fun videos and, and other behind the scenes videos and things like that. Really great information. Uh, and also, again, be sure to check out if you have a local hobby shop in your area, if you have a flying club in your area. Uh, one thing you can also do is check out our flight school program and page on our website where you can potentially find an instructor to help you learn to fly any of these models, even the smallest and simplest models. You'll benefit from having an instructor if you can. Uh, if you can't, that's okay. Use safe technology to your advantage. Make sure you pick up a copy of Real Flight Trainer Edition or the Real Flight version soft, full version software so that way you can succeed even on your own. Uh, thanks again for joining us.